time. Players get close to Martina, but it's one thing to get close and one to actually win. Yes, the other thing, I think um, Helena has had an excellent lead-up to the Ford Australian Open in that she won the Brisbane event. She had an early exit from New South Wales, which means she's had quite a bit of time to practice, relax, and uh, really focus her concentration rattle over to serve. on this tournament, which is the first of the Grand Slams in 1989. Play. So Martina has won the toss and has chosen to serve first. Fifteen love. And also Helena is very used to this centre court. Uh, having played the Federation Cup last month, Czechoslovakia winning, she got a lot of match play out there. Yes, and she played very, very well then too. And she played very well in the Hopman Cup. 30 love. In fact, her and Miloslav Machir have played beautiful mixed doubles. And that's what's going to happen if Martina doesn't come into the net. Helena's going to be very quick to attack. <laughs> Lovely return there. 30 all. And we'll see Martina's serve in slow motion replay. It's a very orthodox action. Sometimes the ball toss may be not quite high enough. Thirty forty. And it's obvious that uh, Helena's going to attack. You see, moving forward, just slicing that down the line. Not going for pace, just placement. It's break point. Coming to have words. I didn't see clearly. I can't overrule on that. It's too. I didn't see clearly. A diplomatic answer by Chris O'Brien, who said he didn't see it clearly and therefore he couldn't overrule. I'm sure he didn't see it as in. Game to go for the first game. Time. Seats quickly, please. Thank you. Sakova to serve. Martina Navratilova broken in the first game, and Helena Sakova to serve, leading one love. Martina carried on the argument with Chris O'Brien on the change of ends. And he... Oh. Smash and Chris O'Brien stood by his initial call. 
15 it was love. definitely too close for him to overrule. It would be a poor precedent to set in the very first game to overrule such a close ball. Well, Martina thinks it's a let. And First service. In fact, it has been called. She persuaded the net judge <laughs> to call it. Martina really giving the officials a workout early on. Beautiful lunging drop volley by the tall check. 30 love. And we'll see from reverse angle. Elena six feet two and using every inch to reach that ball. And Helena on a trot of seven straight points against the world's number two. This is the service action, which is probably, Sue, would you say the most powerful lady serve? Yes, well, and, well you can't uh, forget Steffi, Steffi's first serve, and uh, Brenda Schultz, new junior on the circuit. Yes, Brenda Schultz does, <laughs> she gives everything a nudge. Game Sokova. Sokova leads two games to love. It seems that the serve is becoming a, a much bigger factor in women's tennis now than it did a few years ago. Much more of a weapon. Almost the opposite trend of men's tennis. Oh! The serve dominated men's tennis since the Second World War until quite recently, but uh, last year the world's number one, we wouldn't call a big server. Love 15. Martina struggling when she doesn't get the first serve in, she can't attack. And she certainly isn't looking relaxed there, just rushing that last shot. And that stops Helena's run of nine points straight. Service. 40 15. Ace straight down the center. That's the serve Martina tried to save break point in the first game. It was called out. Service. Tremendous power behind that shot from Sokova. Well, the serve just wasn't wide enough from Martina and allowing Helena to really uh, generate some pace behind that. Still not serving at her best yet. <laughs> Helena standing wide on the backhand court and leaving a little bit of space down the centre there. Deuce. Martina really is shaky. Yes, even uh, the points she has won in this game, she hasn't really been able to uh, do enough with the first volley. Craig yes. Carden there, her coach on the right, he must be a little bit worried. Judy Nelson, always caught side uh, Martina's matches. Out. Advantage, no battle over. Martina saying that she's not picking it up at all. So 
Uh, she has some trouble with her eyesight, wears glasses. It's just that awkward time where the lights are taking over from the natural sunlight. Advantage Sakova. And double fault to give Sakova a chance to go two breaks ahead in the first set. And she does. Leads three love in the first set. Elena Sakova. Sakova leads three games to love. Time. Seats quickly, please. Thank you. So there's there's the difference between natural light and the artificial light. Lina Sakova serving, leading three love. Seats quickly, please. Two the breaks of serve in hand. She took a risk there, running wide to return the serve. Lovely she had to play the winner because she was totally out of court, as we see it from the reverse angle, going for the winner down the line. Yes, uh, so you could see any sort of volley would have won that point. Oh! Martina was in the adjoining county almost. <laughs> And a much more composed Martina playing that passing shot. Fifteen thirty. Well, she's got to find a way to break back in this set, otherwise uh, I think it'll be beyond her reach. Elena is just serving too well. Beautiful game. Three clean winning passing shots, one off the return of serve and two off first volleys. And each time Helena has missed her first serve this game, she's lost the point.
use. And the net cord there not helping Martina. Just an easy set up there for Helena to pass. She saved two break points. Sakova. And Helena is doing the right thing, even when she's missing the first serve, she's still coming in behind the second serve, off a good aggressive second serve. Most players tend to stay back, but that is the right tactic against Martina. Read it and believe it. Helena Sakova leading for love. The first set. The career record would say that she has not a great chance to win. She has beaten Finally, Martina on three occasions and twice on very big occasions in the finals of Virginia Slim's championship and in an Australian Open, 1984. Helena's great form continues. And this is just a devastating return of serve. Martina staying back, hoping to be able to get into the point. Fifteen all. Martina really being let off the hook there. See in replay. That lead court made it very, very easy for Helena. Down the line or a cross court would have won. Out. 30, 15. Martina's continuing to serve to the Sokova forehand. And she's really paying the penalty, being passed twice in this game. As you can see that Helena is intentionally leaving about an extra metre to her right to entice Martina to serve to a forehand. Thirty forty. Now the unbelievable. Helena Sikova has a game point to lead five love. Judy Nelson trying to look brave. Sakova. And still not able to get to the net. Helena taking every opportunity. Really uh, crunch that high volley. Juice. Martina going for a change of racket. Or is that Ivan Lendl? As Ivan does, keeps the spare racket in 
plastic. It's been restrung and re gripped. Advantage the Cobra. And still rushing those volleys when she's getting in. But all credit to Helena. She's giving her some very uh, tough volleys. Oh. Helena's just tightening up a little bit on these break points now. Knowing that if she can get to five, she'll definitely win the first set. Much better serve from Martina, nice and deep. Game never and over. Sakova leads, four games to one. Time. Seats quickly, please. Thank you. Welcome back to the Ford Australian Open, where Martina Navratilova has stunned this crowd by only winning one game in the first five. She's actually down game points. Seats quickly, down please. Five love. Hello, Nesikova, serving at 4-1 with two breaks of serve in hand. Fifteen love. And uh, Helena really needs a good service game here. She just tensed up a little on the break point she had uh, in the last game. Just try to steer the ball rather than hit it. So she must uh, keep positive. Because Martina is experienced enough to have noticed that. Fifteen four. Good passing shot again from Martina, running round to take it on her favourite side, the forehand. Martina Navratilova's end. And again, Helena moving beautifully to cover the net.
40-15. A good confident smash from Helena, because Martina had read it correctly, but just too wide for her to chase down. Wild double fault. It's bound to happen though if you're going to keep the pressure up on your second serve. <laughs> well, Sue, what would you say? What percentage skill, what percentage <laughs> luck there? Just an incredible Over shot, and you can see she one. really enjoyed it. Because it was a good lob from Martina, but uh, Helena, a very tall girl, did well to reach it. Yes, and this will just about go off the screen. <laughs> Helena reaches so high, and I think she was quite relieved that it went in. Not sure she knew where it was going when it actually left the racket. Love. Both players just getting a little tense. Martina especially tentative with her first volley. Fifteen. You could see there how early Helena was taking the return because Martina hadn't even reached the service line. Standing well forward to return Martina's serve, which is one of the most feared serves in women's tennis. I think if I was Martina, I would be serving a lot more to the backhand. Helena's just missed two, two returns into the net. That forehand has been uh, very dangerous. Sokova will be serving for the first set. Just pick up when I pause. Updating the situation on the back injury to Stefan Edberg suffered at the end of today's match with Pat Cash. Edberg has spent three hours flat on his back being examined by doctors. They still cannot pinpoint the exact cause or nature of the injury. They're calling it a back spasm. He is under uh, medication, unspecified. He's been ordered to remain as still as possible on his back all night. But whether or not he can play tomorrow in his scheduled match against Thomas Muster remains, well, a question mark at this stage. Lena Sakova has new balls and let's hope that Stefan Edberg will recover. A back spasm uh, is a nasty thing to have and uh, would prevent him from playing a disabling injury. He's obviously being treated with some sort of muscle relaxer.
Love 15. See this from reverse angle. And it's the lob that set the point up for Martina. Is that the way ladies play, hitting the ball viciously at each other? Stefan Edberg's difficulty is that a muscle relaxer, of course, relaxes everything else, and it's very difficult to play any type of tennis when you've uh, taken those drugs. So there's a fine balance between taking enough to look after the problem. 30 15. And uh, not uh, impairing your, your performance if you actually manage to get on court. Craig Carden, Martina's new coach. Forty fifteen. And that scorching first serve gives Helena Sikova two set points. Game first set to Cobra, six games to two. And that last shot would not give Martina any confidence at all. She set the point up beautifully and really should have made that pass at the Second whole court. Second set, Navratilova to serve. So I think it's a case here where Martina's got to serve a lot better. She's got to get a lot more first serves in. And I think also maybe not serve too much to uh, Helena's forehand. 15, love. Helena very quickly uh, back there to m make that pass. Really is a good shot. She prepares so well on that side because she does take quite a big swing at it and generates a lot of pace. It's not dissimilar to Ivan Lentil's forehand in uh, the way it's produced. Yes. Uh, 30 15. Game never have over. This game, second set. Time. Oh. 
Seats quickly, please. Thank you. Welcome back to the National Tennis Centre at Flinders Park, where Martina Navratilova is in some trouble in her quarterfinal against Helena Sikova. Martina has lost the first set 6-2, and she is leading one love in the second. First service. Fifteen love. Fifteen all. Well, she had every reason there to uh, not hit a good first serve, having served her second double fault, but uh, that's the only way to answer it. A lot of pace behind the first serve, right into the corner. Wow. And again. <laughs> 40, and she's beaming all over. But I think we might expect to see a couple of double faults from uh, Helena because she is being uh, very aggressive on that second serve. Oh, that was a little lucky. And Martinez giving her a wry look. One game the mob was deep. The smash touched the top of the net and it was just inside the sideline. Bit of a hard swallow there. Love. Second serve was very deep and still Helena was going to attack. They're trying to mix up the pace, just playing that little chip backhand cross court, but it was just too high. Easy kill for Martina. 40 love. This judgment from Martina. And we don't often see that uh, from Navratilova. From the reverse angle, she could have played the ball, but 
think emotions got in the way of her brain. I think she was just hoping the ball would go out. Game never come over. Martina lucky to go to a 2 1 lead in the second set. Never come over leads, two games to one. Time. Seats quickly, please. Thank you. Quiet, please. Another full house at the National Tennis Centre. Martina is still shaking her head, not quite believing what is happening. But she will need to come to terms with it. Oh. Love 15. Great shot from Martina. She is a real fighter, and uh, she will try everything in this match. See, at that time, moving in, taking the return early. Yes, you don't win as many tournaments as Martina has without being a real competitor. That means being able to play your best when you're down. That deep volley and that set up this smash that really wasn't off the center of the racket. angle and see how Martina really hustled at this ball and uh, I think Helena was hoping that her volley had gone for a winner so she made a real error there and that's just the sort of shot that can really inspire Martina yes Helena really should have been there to cover the ball Out. 30 all Martina's still very tense. She really tried to steer that ball. That free hitting that we're used to seeing from her. And there's an absolute perfect lob straight down the line, going straight over Helena's backhand corner. Oh. Game never at a over.
Navratilova leads three games, three games to one. And Martina was really threatening that second serve, moving all the time and distracting uh, Helena. Helena really did look shaky all of a sudden. Too good. Love 15. And again, Martina in trouble when she's staying back on the baseline after the second serve. Love 30. Here we have it on net cam. See, this ball catches her right at her feet. Uh. 15 30. There is the percentage of first serves, quite respectable for Martina. Not very impressive for Helena. <laughs> Martina really loved that rally from the reverse angle. She's such a great athlete, able to get to everything. Martina caught right at her feet. Yes, it's not that she's really volleying badly, it's just uh, superior returns of serve from uh, Helena. We see much more impressive on points one off the first serve. 90% from Helena, that's very high. Game Sokova. There's the break back for Helena Sokova, who now trails 3-2 in the second set, having won the first 6-2. And Bratilova leads three games. Helena Sokova just having broken back. Martina taking a little extra time to try to compose herself. She's just starting to look good. And having secured the break to lead 3 1. Quiet, please. Um, Thank you. Combination of a little tentative volleying and Helena's brilliant return of serve. Score is back on serve. What a great pick up there from Helena. Don't think Martina expected uh, such a tough return from that. Oh. Very close. Fifteen. 
15 all. Beautifully constructed point from Martina. 15.30. You see it in replay. That's the ang little angle that set this volley up. And Martina very sure on that high forehand volley. Oh. 15.40. She can't believe she missed it. I think Martina says, well, at least she can make one unforced error. Again from Martina Navratilova, who now leads 4 2. Game never over. Set. Navratilova leads four games to two. And both girls are really returning serve so well tonight. Martina still hasn't uh, really found the touch on her own serve. Not uh, hitting with the, the pace that she normally does or the uh, perfect placement. Fifteen love. Thirty love. With pirouette. 30 15. Well, again, having to face a very difficult uh, return from the reverse angle. You can see Martina doing a complete circle there after playing that shot. 40 15. But Helena hasn't really made her work that much in this game. Normally, she's been uh, not missing the returns. Game never yeah, now leads 5 2 in the second set. Never at Time. So there is the score. It looks like it's going to be a set all. You can see the sun has just about set. Quiet, please. Thank you. Two five. Love 15. And those were the kind of volleys that she wasn't missing in the first set. But Martina has clawed her way back into this match. As we expected her to. Beautiful 
the volley. Yes, they have a lot of history. It's the 25th 15. encounter, which is an awful lot of tennis matches to play against one person. Martina has had huge success, winning 21 so far. 30-15. generally leaves someone with quite a few mental scars. Oh. That's what uh, Elena has to overcome. Yes, a lot of their matches have been close, but uh, always Martina has actually come out on top. Martina absolutely Never insistent that uh, Helena put that smash balls. away. <laughs> Even a very easy one to begin with and didn't knock it off. I didn't quite hear that comment. <laughs> Something uh, negative about her lobbing. Quiet, please. Martina now serving to equal this match. 5-3 in the second set. Love. It's more that Helena's game has come down a few notches rather than Martina's picking up. Getting the first serve in when it matters. Still not going for a lot of pace, but uh, much better placement. And now Sokova is beginning to miss. Three set points. Game, second set. The match is level. And we'll have the third set when we return. Time. That is the state of this affair, and it will be Helena Sokova to serve in the first game of the deciding set. Final set, Sokova to serve. Quiet, please. So close, that one just catching the tape. It is very important for Helena to get off to a good start in this final set. Just losing a little bit of confidence. Thirty love.
40, love. You'd hear Martinez say that uh, just too good on this volley. See here, good stretch there for the volley. And that's an excellent return against a tall opponent. A sliced low return. that favourite tactic 40, from Martina moving in after that lovely chip return. Ah. Deuce. And another one from Martina because that was a good serve from Helena. But Martina knows how important it is to get an early break just beginning to dominate the match. Oh, great effort by Martin, the battle over. 32 years of age and scrambling after everything, fighting hard. Advantage Sokova. You see how much ground Martina covers here that's a great effort to get that back but she had to bluff on this last one guessed wrong <laughs> well, you won't see a better return from that Deuce. Helena had barely finished the serve before that was past her Marina survives to lead one love in the first game of the third set. First game, final set. Time. And that's the view back towards the city of Melbourne, which has looked beautiful the last few days. Sunny weather. Most Melbournians are a little surprised. Quiet, please. Sue Barker coming from Britain has asked several times what that thing was in the sky. <laughs> Martina beginning to find her touch now. Love. Lovely control of that volley.
Beautiful. And that's exactly what it was. This is a magnificent pickup from the reverse angle. She would have done well just to have got the ball back into play, made it a Cousins clean winner. Oh! 13-15. Martina really starting to play some great tennis, that one just missing. Yeah, I think she thought she could play anything after the last volley. Oh. And both players in superb form at the moment. 34. This time a winner from Helena at full stretch. Well to control that forehand. And that was a very tentative first serve from Martina, catching a bit of the frame. Oh. 30, 40. So, a real uh, sign of tension that I'd imagine, Sue. Yes, we never see Martina It's the second serve as far as that. Now the first serve looks strangely tense. Again, a very conservative attempt at a first serve. Just when uh, she should be getting a little tentative, really played a superb point, getting into net very quickly behind the serve. Advantage never at the It's a better first serve. Slider down the centre. Judy Nelson and Craig Carden. Game never ever over. One game more. <coughs> and brave play there from Martina. Just when she was beginning to look uh, as though she was getting a little tense again. But like all great champions, able to produce her best tennis in the tight situations. Love 30. And Helena at fault there for not doing more with the first volley. It was high above the height of the net. Allowing Martina to dominate off a short volley. So in trouble here, down love 30. Oh. Help! 15-30. having a hard look at the line and then clapping the shot. And you can see exactly how close this is in replay. Good oh, luck for Martina. Well, she Ball. had two in the last game that hit the tape and fell back her side, so... Had a, little, had a little peek over, didn't it, but came back.
game, Sokova. And Sokova leads 2-1 in the deciding set. time. So Helena is first back on the court. Martina struggling a little bit. Not having too much luck. One of her passing shots caught the top of the net that would have won for her. And Helena played a brilliant backhand volley right onto the line for a winner. Quiet, please. Fifteen, love. Again, that forehand from Helena. Very strong. If she gets that working again, Martina could be in trouble. Thirty fifteen. Lucky let off there. <laughs> then nervously putting the hand back out. <laughs> Applauding her opponent's shot. See it from the reverse angle. On the full run, whipped it down the line. Oh, that again. 30, 40. Martina really not having much luck with the top of the net. Again, the ball looking over but coming back. Martina is down. Great point. Please. Thank you. It was a superb return of serve, though, from Helena. Really mixing it up, just taking the pace off that one. is playing a big part in this match. Advantage never at all over. And she doesn't miss too many on that forehand side. Sigh of relief from Martina. Again, Martina putting herself out of trouble, down break point for the second time in this uh, final set. Hey. 
first service. Fifteen old. Oh, Martina's decided she's going to attack the serve now. Good aggressive forehand. Maybe not enough on that second serve from Helena. She's been more aggressive with it throughout this match. Thirty-fifteen. Helena definitely having the better of the luck here. Great try at getting that uh, turn of serve back. There's a little bit of fortune in it. Fault number six for Helena, only two for uh, Martina. Forty thirty. Yes, the lob not deep enough. That's uh, caused Martina a few problems today. The lob that's, that she has tried have just fallen too short. Certainly needs to be a good lob to get over Helena Sokova's head. Game Sokova. Sokova through to a 3-2 lead in the final set. Sokova leads three games to two. time. Blind plays. And there's a bird's eye view of the centre court from between the lights. And that's the score. Martina in rather a tough battle quarterfinals. Fifteen love. Judy Nelson enjoyed that point. That uh, perfectly played point from Martina. Thirty love.
13.15. That's the return of serve again that sets up the opportunity to pass. That time, Elena took full advantage. Turn of serve there, just too high. Easy volley for Martina to put away. Quiet, please. Thank you. And at three all, every game now vital. Real tension out there. <laughs> Second service. on the second serve. Fifteen love. First service. Martina's just got to make every return in this game. Put the pressure on Helena. in this game off the second serve. 30-15. It is. You can see Martina moving out to her right, anticipating that forehand in, uh, serve into her backhand. Beautiful pass by Helena Sakova. She punches the air and goes through to a 4 3 lead in the final set. time. Well, there is the state of the nation for Martina Rattleover. It's coming down to the wire and she has not secured 
the break in the final set. Serving at 3 4. In fact, she's been down break point a few times herself. Fifteen love. Oh, she read it well. Martina chastising herself for hitting it right to her. In her words. Fifteen love. You can see here. A little fake back to the centre for Helena, and then she stayed in the backhand corner. Beautiful first serve. Yes, Martina is now beginning to serve well. Still not at her best. Martina does make it look easy when she gets the first serve in and the volley into the open court and then always in command of the point. Martina just doing a few push-ups. Oh, how unusual. <laughs> it's the first time on the National Tennis Centre anyone's done push-ups during a match. Oh, beautiful point by the champion. Log 15. See it on net cam. Martina moving in very quickly and just bunting the ball into the open court. Ooh. What a great pass again from Martina. Love I think 30. Uh, Helena expected such a return back from Martina. Thought the serve was a winner, but you can't afford to Why give Martina amazing. another chance, especially on that forehand side. So, love 30 and a second serve. Love 40. Martina moving into net behind the return, distracting Helena, forced the volley wide. And it sets up three break points. the break for Martina to rattle over and we return she will be serving for the match Judy Nelson gives thanks
time. And And the crowd is cheering on Martina Navratilova, the person who has won Finally more prize money in professional tennis than anyone else ever. Over 14 million American dollars. Love 15. And Helena's certainly going to fight for this game. Played so well in this match. She still looks eager. <laughs> well, that's what Grand Slam tennis is about. Fighting to the bitter end with everything you have. hesitate yes just guiding those volleys in that uh, rally Martina again tentative with the first shot after the serve and giving Helena the chance to pass which she did 15 40 and Martina Quite facing two breakback points. First service. Tremendous volley from Martina. 30 40. Full stretch here from the reverse angle. An amazing volley because Helena was moving in, would have uh, picked off anything short. One break point saved. Helena has broken back. Tina doesn't want to believe it, but she must. Quiet, please. Thank you. And steadying herself for the fight, but must continue. Love 15. And this is great tennis. We're just seeing winner after winner. Both girls playing their best tennis. Martina there say hit it she knows she's got to be positive hit through the ball this is not a time to get nervous now she's been in this position many times before and if anyone knows how to get out of a situation like this it's Martina Thank you. 
Here we have it from the reverse angle, and Martina continuing to go for a shot. Tina not happy with the call. Chris O'Brien, central up high, backing up the line call. And it definitely wasn't wide. Beautiful first serve. The ball went back even quicker, I think, just missing the baseline. Good judgment, though, from Helena. Or was she scared to hit it? Double fault number seven for Helena. Quiet, please. Thank you. We have come at some crucial times. Oh. What a magnificent return from Martina. Break point. Tina saying wimp, <laughs> just a little hard on herself. Why she tightened up a little you. bit and who wouldn't five all in the deciding set. First service. Service. Great time to serve your sixth base. See this from court level. This ball is really hit and right on the line. This game is telling the story of the match. Helena just uh, now having a few service problems, double faults, a couple of aces. Advantage to Kobe. Make that a third one. The last three points, uh, Martina has done nothing but stand there. She's either received a double or been blown away with an ace. Will she be aggressive on the second serve? Use. Can feel the tension. Never 
And again, uh, Helena just not hitting that volley. No, tension has accounted for the last two errors. <laughs> certainly not in that serve. But, uh, it must be hard to play against a legend, yes. and that's what uh, Helena is doing. Martina will go down with the world's greatest players. Advantage Sokova. One more game point for Sokova to lead 6-5. believe it. The third double fault she served on the Boy left please. court Thank you. in this game. Stumbled. That's getting close to an hour and 50 minutes old. But Helena again, uh, a little bit tense not uh, coming into net behind that second serve. She's been serve volleying uh, continually through this match. A relief for Navratil over to see that first serve hit the top of the net. See Martina moving around, trying to distract Helena. Help! Helena holds on to lead 6 5. Listen to that. Well, Ned Kelly, what do you think? Quiet, please. Thank you. Martina down. Five, six. Same sort of atmosphere as their match at Koo Yong in 84. Slice serve chasing Helena as she tried to move around it. Thirty love. Lovely volley from Martina. Very deep. Not going for so much on it, just getting Helena out of position. 
And she needs a good service game here. Oh, great play by Martina. Some people applaud and some just stare in amazement. Elena doing everything right here. A beautiful forehand followed following the lob. Game never at a low ball. Six games all. What a difference in their service games. Yes, might tell something. Martina having the most convincing service Ryan game Williams. of Thank her you. match, I think. Love game, Helena had uh, six juices. Not since the ninth game of the second set is Martina one to love. Just beautiful play from Martina, just kept Helena on the move and then just waiting for the shot to put away. Beautiful touch. Love 40. And Helena Sokova just looking a little bit tired there, not getting into the net very quickly behind the serve. And the pressure really on the Helena now, three break points. First service. Martina has won the last seven consecutive points. Martina moving right into the centre of the court, trying to give Helena as little room on the backhand side as possible. Help. And there's the break for Navratilova. When we return, she will be serving for the match. Huge ovation for the players. It's been a great match. It's second round for Helena, who arrived on court after Martina. Oh, 
But is it over yet? Love 15. I don't think I'd like to bet on this match. Searching for the mark, but accepting that it was in. It's Love been a feature of this match, how sporting both players have been. Had a glorious shot, just clipping the line. Scorching returns from Helena Sikova when she needs them most. Last time Martina was down, love 40. Love 40. That was when she served for this set at 5 4. Flight, please. Thank you. It was tremendous tennis from Helena Sokova. Martina not finding the first serve in this game. Excellent second serve there. Slid it into the body of her opponent. Flush on the tape. Tina survives to 30-40. Martina. Deuce. That lovely swinging serve wide and then the volley into the open court. We see her do it so many times. So she's fought back from Love 40 to Deuce. She can't afford to give Helena anything short. She's going to get past. A lot of pressure on that first volley. Deuce. Some luck with that passing shot. Advantage to Cobra. And we'll see it in replay. Martina believes it may have been out. You can see it was sliced. I think everybody's happy with the call. I think Martina was wishing it was out. Quite please. Yes, but she's not. Really questioned a call all night. She's gone and had a little look at the mark, and when she's satisfied it's in, she's played on. First service. In fact, the ladies are, in general, are that. They are ladies. Been very, very sporting throughout the championship. <laughs> Incredibly, Sakova has broken back. And doing the right, and doing the right thing there on the break point, attacking it, not just trying to guide it down and give Martina a tough volley. She really went for it. Oh. 
15. Oh, Latina has been unlucky with the top of the net. Yes, if you were to criticise Helena's game at all, it's that there's no grey area. That's either the really big hits, as we see this in replay, and again, Martina unlucky. Paul bouncing up and then coming back the wrong side. She's got very big shots or uh, she's got no mid-range, no safety shots. Just not enough pace on that serve to worry Martina. Very quickly round to take it on the forehand. She's very fit. Thirty fifteen. Martina really applying the pressure that time. And showing her experience there in moving into the net. Right, please. Thank right you. Right thing to do. Helena has not played a lot from the back. Reverse angle here, Elena. Again, not doing enough, and they're not in position to cover that cross court. Break point. No. Deuce. No. Advantage to Kova. Tremendous tennis there from Martina. Just trying to G herself up. The volley's out. What a fight. Staving off one more break point. Martina in search of her umpteenth Grand Slam championship. Helena still looking for a first. Advantage to 
I mean, no wonder her hand was Quite wet with you. sweat. It's been a long game. As was the 11th game, serving from the same end. Game Sokova. Sokova now leads eight games to seven. time. An absolute sellout crowd at Flinders Park tonight. Why they please. have Thank got you. their money's worth. If there's not one more ball hit, they've had their money's worth. Martina now looking down the barrel, trailing 7-8. Just out. 15 low. Talena continuing to go for her returns. That's uh, how she's been winning the points in the match. Only Martinez second ace. Yes, she hasn't uh, been hitting with the same power that we saw earlier in the tournament. Just going more for placement against uh, Helena. Quiet, please, ladies and gentlemen. And now, Helena Sakova, only two points from victory. Thirty all. Match point. Quite please, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.
And there's the bottom line. A fantastic win for Helena Sokova. 6-2, 3-6, 9-7. She has beaten the great Martina Navratilova in a most memorable match. Yes, another one of their classic encounters. And Helena Sokova was so brave in that um, final set when Martina served for it twice. She went for her shots, came up with the winners, and there's really nothing Martina could do about it in the end. So both girls played a tremendous match. The crowd is standing and applauding as they should. Their match tally now stands at 21 to 4. But twice Helena has been the victor in the Australian Open. And it was a tremendous tennis match. As we see Martina got a higher percentage of first serves in. And uh, both girls equal with uh, wins off the first serve. Although I think Helena Sokova was much uh, more impressive on the second serves. Seven aces for Helena, nine double faults. They did come at crucial times, but not really when it mattered towards the end of the match. Forced errors, well, an incredible amount of forced errors and very few unforced errors for both players because they were both playing great tennis and not uh, missing very much. And it's very rare that we see Martina winning less points at net than her opponent. Helena Sokova, I think, doing the right tactic in serve volleying off both serves. Tremendous match. Yes, well, as the statistics showed, very, very little.